So we are here at the Ottawa Pinball Gaming Show in the Pin History booth. And there's all sorts of really great stuff in here. Everything from wood rail pinballs to penny arcade machines. And there's one really fascinating piece of gear I'd like to show you. It is this 1932 Gottlieb Cloverleaf. This is an absolutely lovely piece of kit. Operates a penny at a time. And it has a really interesting little mechanism in it. A skill shot mechanism. First thing I've ever seen that works this way. A little complicated mechanism on the inside. And when this came into the show, it was defeated. Here's how we uh, got that fixed up. I want to show you how you can get a skill shot on the Gottlieb Cloverleaf from 1932. So the key issue is this little pin here. When this came into the show, this plate was held down, right? Which made getting into the skill hole Pretty easy, easier than it should have been, and you could get into it all game long, right? And if you take a look underneath here, on the inside, so with that string in there, the operator can tie that up, that screw over there, and that string is attached directly to that post, and when that's tensioned, that skill plate is always down which means that people are always welcome to hit that 5,000 point shot and never put in another penny. So it's a dip switch from a pre-electronic time. So here's what we found. When you take off that spring, this pin pops up right here, blocking entry to the hole. And so we thought, hey, that can't be right. Why would you want to block entrance to that skill hole? Well, here, we're going to show you how it's played. All right, so you are having a lousy, lousy game. Right? You, you're, you've got a beer or a whole round of them on the line with you and your buddies, and everything that you fired ends up in the out hole. Right? What am I going to do to rescue this? Well, a round of beer might cost a whole nickel, but I got a penny in my pocket and I think I'm a pretty good shot. So here's what I'm gonna do. I've got a couple of balls left, but I know I know it's really not gonna count for a whole lot at this point. So I got a couple of balls left. I'm going to try to start things again. And because I've got a couple of balls left in my game, right, that's where the magic of this makes it work, right? So here's what happens. You're gonna push in the penny and take a look and see what happens here with the skill hole. When I push in this penny, all of my balls drop, but that lockout plate gets out of the way. So here's what I can do now. I can put another ball in the trough, and depending on how good I am, right, I might be able to just ease it into that hole. Oh, I didn't make it, right? Maybe I got one more chance, right? Because there's a couple of balls that it'll let, it'll let go. I can actually just take this again, see if I get it in this time. And look at that, it goes into the skill hole. If I try again, it's not gonna let me. It's limited me to a couple of balls. But now, I can release my penny, release the play field, and I've unlocked all of the balls that I have in the game, and I can play another round. I have bought myself a mulligan, but you can see right here, this plate has popped up and I don't have any more chances to get that 5,000 point skill shot. Pretty ingenious bit of mechanical engineering for the time. All right, let's play a game. So from the start, right, we're gonna drop a coin. It's gonna put our balls into the unit. And you'll notice that my skill plate is up. I can't use that right now, it's no good for me, right? 
This is straight, plain old fashioned game. I drop my coin, flip my ball into the lane, and make a shot, right? And I see how that goes for me. Out. No good. Terrible. Although I get 10 balls to redeem myself, right? Let's see how I do. Oh, this isn't going well for me. I think I'm going to have to buy that next round. Uh, see, when the glass is off, this little thing has to be flipped back after every ball. But I think I use that to my advantage. I got a whole 300 points. really pay more attention to how I'm shooting and the strength. There we go. Well, I know that my buddy in the last round, my buddy in the last round, he got 3,000 points. And I know at this point, I'm on the hook. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to gamble, I'm going to mulligan, I'm going to put my penny down, and I'm going to try to start again. So here's how this is going to work, right? I know I've got a couple of balls left, but the game's a wash. I'm going to put my penny in. The post is going to come down. I'm going to start fresh. Okay. To make a real easy shot. And bingo, away I go. So there we are. The skill shot works. When I pull this back, the pin drops, it slides into the hole, so we know that I made the shot, and I can start with 5,000 points in this round. Terrific. My buddy's buying the next round, and it cost me two cents instead of just one. Fantastic. 1932 Gottlieb Cloverleaf. A real beauty.